Our film starts with a prostitute walking down the street. A guy picks her up despite her looking pretty dirty while another car follows them. While making small talk, she fangs out, yet instead of running, he insists on getting a condom. Aren't you worried I'm a cop? Uh, I think maybe a condom's in order here, huh? That's when she stabs him with a broken glass and feeds on him. From there, she attacks the people that were following them, who were vampire hunters, before heading back to the junkyard she lives in. We then go to an art gallery where a posh woman is showing a man named Harold around. She stops when she sees a friend of hers named Richard, and they laugh about one of the artists he represents getting murdered. It becomes clear no one in this movie is phased by talking to Fang people, as Harold whispers something into the female vampire's ear, and she gets excited and invites him to her place. When they get to her place, they see a guy named Dallas was waiting there. After a very awkward introduction, the woman tells Dallas to get comfortable while her and Harold head to the bedroom. She then proceeds to feed on him. Take those clothes off, Harold! <laughs> Oh, you're such a plump and juicy little mister. When she's done, she offers Dallas the leftovers. The two then catch up on where he's been, and we find out that Dallas and the Count have had issues in the past, which is why he went into hiding. She also tells Dallas about the vampire prostitute and how the Count wants her found. We then see the prostitute feeding on someone else in an alley. She walks over to a pimp that wants to talk to her before she proceeds to puke blood in his car. At a hotel, an older man who we find out is Dr. Van Helsing questions the guy at the front desk about a guest who, but is removed by security when he proceeds to rant about vampires. We then see the next day that Van Helsing puts out an ad in the paper for an assistant. The next evening, we see that Dallas and the posh woman slept together and then they have a welcome home party for him, which includes Richard and his pregnant wife, among others. This film is really into Kim Cattrall's legs, by the way, and honestly, I'm here for it. As they leave, we see that Van Helsing is tailing them. They take Dallas to an underground club where vampires freely feed on human prisoners. The Count calls Dallas over and tells him he can stay in the city for three days and then must leave. An angry Dallas then leaves the club. We then find out whatever happened had something to do with Van Helsing. The next morning, a guy named Time Bomb shows up at Van Helsing's motel room and tells him he wants the job. Van Helsing is confused why someone who doesn't believe in vampires has no problem taking a job where it's expected he'll have to kill and the guy explains he needs the money. They head to a building where one of the vampires is resting. Dr. Van Helsing convinces his new assistant to make the kill after promising him his $1,000 per kill bonus. We then get a pretty graphic scene of Time Bomb having to saw the vampire's head off. Back with the prostitute, she's still walking down Hollywood Boulevard. Dallas ends up being the one who pulls up and she goes in his car. She stabs him in the neck and proceeds to feed on him. Can't you hear it? What? The beating of your heart. <laughs> when she's done, he then feeds on her. They go back and forth for a while in a really seductive scene until he pushes her off, telling her if she drinks too much, she'll get sick. Dallas then explains the whole situation with the Count, but she's pretty stubborn. He offers to help. Back at Van Helsing, he explains to Time Bomb the story of how the vampire turned his son and how he offed him, resulting in his wife committing suicide. He's been after the vampire that turned him ever since. Dallas, after seeing how the prostitute lives, takes her back to the posh lady Ulrika's house instead. Ulrika disapproves, but Richard is intrigued. Ulrika insists if she's going to be there, she must be bathed. The guys are then awestruck about how the girl looks clean. Ulrika pulls Dallas aside and exposes that she knows that Dallas was the one who made her, which he admits. While they're arguing with what to do with her, the girl takes her gun and leaves in nothing but a robe. Dallas takes off after her when he finds out she's gone as Van Helsing tails her back to her junkyard. Dallas ends up spending the night there with her and convinces her she could lead a real life. The next morning at the junkyard, Time Bomb tries to convince Van Helsing that he needs backup and tries to explain to him what the crypts are. They take so long trying to find the vampires that the sun goes down and the girl scares them away by shooting at them. Dallas, who we find out is also the vampire that turned Van Helsing's son, tells her how she has to find a new place to live now that the hunters know where she is. She takes the girl to Richard and Panthea's place, as Panthea, who is eternally pregnant, basically adopts the girl. 
Panthea takes the girl shopping and gives her a makeover, which the guys approve. When the lady at the front desk is super rude, they give her permission to feed on her, which she does, though she goes overboard and they have to pull her off the body repeatedly. Oh, go on, kill the fucking bitch. Go on, rip her fucking lungs out. Come on, you little rascal. <laughs> Time Bomb introduces Van Helsing to the other members of the Crips. Not understanding what a street gang is, Van Helsing gets very frustrated at their lack of taking anything seriously and just talking about shooting things. They eventually get stopped by the police, where Van Helsing gets further confused as to why they're being harassed. Dow sees the girl the fun way that vampires can have sex, which she didn't know. Then they head to a restaurant where Richard and Panthea are seducing some guy. Panthea sends the girl to the washroom to wipe blood off her face, and some other girl approaches her. The vampire, whose name we finally learn is Nico, takes a liking to the girl, Rachel, and introduces her to her new family, but is quick to prevent them from thinking she's for feeding. As they leave, they're confronted by the Count, resulting in a heated confrontation between the Count and Nico. When they get to Ulrika's place, she shows him the decapitated head of Vincent after the Van Helsing attack. Dal is frustrated as Nico's nonchalant attitude at death, then takes Nico to her parents' trailer, who she doesn't remember. When a movement opens the door, she then recognizes her as her mother. We find out that Nico had an abusive stepdad. She tells Dallas to kill the stepdad, resulting in her mother shunning her and calling her a demon. As they leave, the Countsmen follow behind, who Nico and Dallas make short work of. Back in Dallas's car, we get Dallas's side of the story, where we find out that he's a very sympathetic person who tends to turn people who have it rough. He then explains that Van Helsing's son had a terminal illness, which is why he turned him. We then go to a scene where the vampires are injecting blood like it's heroin. Nico gets a call from Rachel and she gets super excited and goes out with her, while Dallas confronts the Count about sparing her. The Count demands that Dallas bring Nico to him. While Rachel takes Nico to go huff paint with her friends while they talk about her teeth, Van Helsing and the Cribs, who are high as kites, walk into Panthea's and Richard's place and stake them. They then take Ulrika to the back room and trap her to a bed. She then turns into some type of demon after sounding borderline racist while daring them to screw her, which they do. Van Helsing then stakes her after they're done. Just as they finish, Nico comes home and sees what happened. The Crips take her down while shooting Rachel in the process. Before they can kill Nico, Dallas offers her life for Dracula's. As they head to Dracula's, the Crips complain of not feeling well. We then see them start to turn, as vampirism apparently is an STD. Dallas and Van Helsing get to Dracula's hideout where they go after him. Dracula's men kidnap Van Helsing and Nico, but Dallas gets away. Dallas takes off in a van and explains to the Crips that the Count is racist and won't be happy about there being black vampires. The Crips are now on Team Dallas because of this. They get to the Count's club and have a full-on shootout. Dallas takes the Count and the Crips go to town on him. When his female companion tries to save him, Dallas stakes her. <laughs> Dallas lets the Crips know they have to burn the Count to kill him, which they do. The film ends with Nico letting Dallas know she knows he turned her, then Dallas revealing that he's leaving town and that Rachel has been turned as well. He leaves with Nico and Rachel on each arm who have decided to go with him. And the last thing we see is they have turned Van Helsing into a vampire. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, please leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to know every time I update. If you want to help my channel grow, please check out my Patreon where you can get access to content early as well as see the content that can't be uploaded here on YouTube. Link will be in the description. Until next time.